Where is the subject of your film now? What's he doing? Are you in touch? Has he seen the film? Right. Um, first, thanks everybody so much for, for coming out. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day, and I'm always surprised when people come into a movie theater on such a beautiful, but maybe you guys have beautiful days every day here, so. Um, <laughs> Uh, so Daniel is, he's still in prison. He's got a, a little bit more than a year. Um, he has not seen the film. He's in this special communication management unit prison. Um, so, you know, he hasn't had access to it. Um, and he is doing okay. Um, he is, you know, frustrated to be in this prison. It's, um, it, it, it severely restricts the amount of contact he has with the outside world, the phone calls he can make, the way his visits you know, he has to visit his wife through bulletproof glass, which is very unusual for somebody who's in prison for arson. Um, and, um, uh, but the prison is safe. You know, it's not one of these prisons where people are getting stabbed in the bathrooms because it's so controlled, it's, it's very, um, it's safe. But, um, but I think he's having a, a, a frustrating time. Um, Suzanne Savoy uh, is now out of prison. So uh, she actually came to a screening that we had in Ashland, Oregon which was kind of intense. She was at the screening. Steve Swanson, the owner of the, uh, of the timber mill, was at the screening. And the wife of another member of the ELF that she had, you know, was part of the reason that that guy was in prison having testified against him was at the screening. So it was a, the Q&A was <laughs> quite uh, lively. Um, and then um, uh, um, Jake Ferguson, it, you know, uh, of course, didn't get any time in prison, but was um, w last year was arrested for selling drugs and is now in prison for for that. So it's kind of a for those of you who enjoy comeuppance. <laughs>